Hey there YouTube, it's Noah Calcanio and I'm back with another video for you. This time I want to talk about bandwagoning because this is an epidemic in the sports world where a team gets good and suddenly fans come flocking out of nowhere. They come from every way, which way they're popping out of your cupboards, they're popping out of your stove, they're popping out of your bed. They're like, yo, go Blue Jays. And it's like, what? bro, I've liked this team for the 22 years they didn't make the playoffs and you're just coming out of nowhere saying that you're this diehard fan? No, you're not. This is so annoying when people do this and you see it all the time no matter what city you're in, but there's obviously teams more prone to it like the Miami Heat, the Seattle Seahawks, the the hmm, the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Pittsburgh Penguins, and of course the Toronto Blue Jays this year. And the New York Yankees most years, the LA Dodgers most years. But still, the point is, bandwagoning is annoying. So stop it. A surefire sign that you're a bandwagoner, though, is a replica jersey. Nothing bothers me more than a replica jersey because it's not real. It's not authentic. It's not the MLB making their jerseys for fans to wear. It's some sweatshop making it so that you can have a jersey that looks real. Let me I got two jerseys, one that I got a while back and one that I won from the Blue Jays organization themselves. So this is the one I got a while back and you can tell it's a replica. Look how, look how sloppy that looks. Look at this nice, amazing, authentic jersey. And I mean, it's just way better to get authentic. And I think any self-respecting sports fan would agree with that, that replica jerseys are not a good thing. Yes, they're cheaper, but they also cheapen your fandom. Is fandom a word? I feel like it is, but I'm not using it right. Anyway, another way you can tell someone's a bandwagoner is if they got a player that just got acquired at the trade deadline the year before they made the playoffs. So, like, if you're a Jays fan and you got Tulo, um, if you got Price, or if you got, what's the other one, Revere on your jersey, you're, you're probably a bandwagoner because you probably were like, oh, the Jays are doing pretty good. They're probably not going to make the playoffs. And then they got through the guy. You're like, yes, I've always been a Jays fan. I always believe I'm going to get him on my jersey because I love him. No, that is not how you do it. You get a jersey. Look, this is R.A. Dickey. He's been on the team for like three years. And I got this. And like, he was in a trade deadline acquisition on a year they are going to make the playoffs. He was a, they sucked that year. They finished last. And I have his jersey over Donaldson, Bautista, Price, and that makes me a true fan because I have a jersey of a player that isn't even good, but it's better than having one that they just got the trade deadline. And another way you can tell your bandwagoner is if it's not even a city near you, if it's just, oh, I need a team, this one wins a lot, let's go. Like the teams I mentioned before, like Seattle Seahawks, New England Patriots, Pittsburgh Penguins, those kind of teams that you just kind of hop on and say, yo, I like these guys because they're good, or they have this player I like. It's like, nah, and, I, and nothing bugs me more than the people who follow LeBron James around. Oh, go Cavaliers, go Heat, go Cavs, whatever. Stop it. It's sports. The whole fun of sports is seeing your team suck, get better and better and better, and then win the ultimate prize. That is the joy of sports. So that's why bandwagoners are universally hated by true fans. And that's why... You could be a true fan of a good team and you get flack for being a bandwagoner. But at the same time, it's important to do what sports are meant to do, which is go through the, the trials and tribulations and the victory of your team. So, keep all this in mind when you cheer. I'm still a bit bitter that the Jays lost last night. I mean, we really got, we really got screwed on that. They should have won. But that's besides the point. The point is, don't be a bandwagoner. Be a true fan. That's all for this video, and I'll see you the next time I make one. Make one. Peace.